Hey guys, uh, so the difference between the last two videos, kind of long, uh, it's not my longest I've ever been, but still a bit of a distance. <laughs> so to make up for it, I'm down in Florida again, I'm here with old Goob Stinker right here. We're, uh, we're at a notorious pond where both of us decided to go step in anthills. Oh god, oh no! <laughs> that was not fun, but... Today we're gonna see if we can try and catch some fish out of here. Last time it was a gator. Maybe there'll be a gator. This is definitely gonna be a fun trip. There's gonna be a lot of videos that are gonna be pumped out from here. And you know, let's get it started. <gasps> like, holy crap, that looks fantastic. Hey y'all, here's the pond. And we're just gonna be casting this in here because honestly, this looks pretty sick. There's all these reeds, and all these bass are gonna be pent up right along these reeds. And frogs gonna work fan freaking tastic up in here. Oh, I had a fish. Oh no, he like he barely came up and nabbed it. He like barely sucked it in. The last time, using top water worked fantastic. So that's how I caught basically all of my bass. They wouldn't eat Texas rigs, which was stupid. I don't know of a bass that doesn't eat a Texas rig. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. God, these weeds. Look these reeds. Oh, fish had it. God. Oh, I saw him even. Oh, that was sick. Dang, dude, this strike number two I've missed. I guess I gotta let him eat it first. Actually, you know what I will do though? I'm gonna walk around to this other pond that's right back here and throw a couple of casts. Apparently back here, the guy that I saw last time said that there were some massive 10 pounders. So, don't mind if I do, feller. Oh, tried to grab it. He went after it. Oh, I see him, I see the little bass. These bass are gone. So far I've had, what, three follows, two bass have actually went after it, and zero fish landed. That just sums up my life right now. <laughs> oh, come on. There's a fish. Oh, sweet. Oh, he's a tiny little guy. <laughs> there we go. First fish, there we go, there's a first fish. To be honest, he's not that big. <laughs> I can tell you that right now. There's number uno on the El Frago. To be honest, I was about to go switch out. There you go, swimming off. All right. All right guys, so basically, I just switched over to a little jig head. Watermelon red trick worm uh, trailer out the end of it. Just seeing if this would maybe work in here on bottom. So let's try it. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, yo, dude, I didn't even notice he had it. This is not a bad fish. This is not a bad fish. No, we let it go! God! Oh, that was a nice fish. You have got to be kidding me. That... <laughs> he crushed it, too. My jig. That was the five-pounder we needed to catch, and I lost it. I lost it. That was not a small fish. That was a big fish. Did you hear it dra like taking out my drag and everything? No. <sighs> that was the five pounder. That was at least the five pounder out of here. Well, that flipping sucked. 
<clears throat> that really sucked because that was a nice fish. And I'm kind of upset about it because that's probably the only fish that was in there that was that big. So we may or may not come back here at a different time and try it. Who knows? Maybe the fish will bite next time and actually stay on. But we're going to go try a different spot right now. It's literally right around the corner. It's basically connected to this pond, but it's a big lake. And I've been told that there's been 10, 15 pounders out of here. I've been showing pictures, but I don't have the pictures. So I'm just going to have to take my word on it. So. We walk down here to get away from the wind and the wind's down here. I wanted to fish this spot anyways. So we're at the lake, big beautiful abode as it is. So like what I was using in the last pond and I got that big, big guy. I'm using this little jig head trailer that's just a little uh, watermelon red trick worm. So this works wonders. I've used it before, I've caught fish on it. But all, all in here, this, this lake is apparently really, really deep. And right in front of us, there's this big drop off that goes about 15, 20 feet. Apparently, that's where all the big, big, big boy bats are. So, we're gonna try that. <laughs> little feller. He's not bad. At least for the first little fish out of this pond. Let's get a release on him. There he goes. May or may not switch out this guy for something a, a little bit different. We got a little frog that we're gonna be using right now. I do not know what brand this is. Doesn't say anywhere on it. It's got a little rattling thing in it. It's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, let's go test this bad boy out. Please watch out for snakes down in here. This is prime real estate. Don't mind. I freaking do. It's actually pretty lit. Oh, yo. Smile, you're on camera. That's sick. Hey, you misspelled your. But just imagine that that says you are, not your. Well, we found your oh, you son of a gun. Gosh darn it, little, little stinker. Hey, welcome to snake territory. My name's Steven. I'm about to get bit by a snake. Failure. I feel like there's a bass right here. Never mind, <laughs> I lied. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna, excuse me, what? Who the, who? I see something up there. Oh, it's a squirrel. We are gonna cross the fine line. All right, you ready for this? I'm just gonna El Steppo through here. And hey, hey, now we're on the opposite side. That's cool. Oh, <laughs> he wants it so bad. There's, just, there's, I think, like three bass right in here, and he wants it. Oh, that's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. Yeah, let's go. Oh my god, he came up and crushed it, dude. Holy smokes! Not bad at all. I will take this all day. All right, he's gonna be feisty. Oh, <laughs> I'm soaking wet now, but that's all right. Right there, there's a big drop off. And there's this big piece of cinder block right there. And I knew that there was probably going to be a fish right on the end of that. Considering before, I've seen multiple fish on there. So, that works for me. All right. Today was all right, I'd say. We caught a couple of fish, around four fish, and uh, we lost that big one. That's a bummer. I'm not excited about that. That is gonna, I'm gonna be in pain editing that. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys had a, had a wonderful day. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Leave a like if you did. If you didn't, don't. It doesn't matter to me. So, just thank you guys for watching. Peace out.